Greetings from Boston, Massachusetts. My name is Justin Preston, and I'm here to talk to you about the research panel featuring myself, Professor Jean Rhodes, and Kirsten Christensen, occurring at the European Mentoring Summit on the 8th of October from 2.30 to 3.45 Central European Time. So I'm a graduate student at the University of Massachusetts, Boston, which is the home for the Center for Evidence-Based Mentoring. Now, the Center for Evidence-Based Mentoring has been serving as an incubator and advocate for rigorous mentoring evaluation and practices since its founding. So here in the United States, the recent work of the center has largely been focused on investigating not just a mentoring relationship, but mentoring as it occurs in context. So what do I mean by that? I mean that mentees are coming into mentoring programs facing a wide array of challenges at home, at school, and in the community. And such complex challenges have often proven overwhelming to mentors, mentees, and programs alike. So for many mentees, what they need isn't just a positive relationship in their life, although that is helpful and it's great to have. However, their needs are too acute and too specific. So in order to prove the way mentoring is implemented and as a result outcomes for mentors, mentees, and programs, it may be necessary to kind of rethink even the most fundamental assumptions we make about mentoring as an intervention and as a relationship. So as part of that effort, the researchers at the center and our partners have been seeking to push the boundaries of what's possible with mentoring. So this upcoming panel at the European Summit is aimed at discussing the work and inviting feedback and discussion to continue moving the field of mentoring forward, both in the United States and in Europe. So from special populations, such as children whose parents have been incarcerated, to investigating the benefits of a model called supportive accountability, we at the Center have been researching mentoring from the ground up, both formally and informal mentoring relationships. And so as a part of that, a little preview of what we'll be discussing, my colleague Kirsten has been conducting research on what we know as a field regarding the effectiveness of what we call the friendship model of mentoring compared to newer, more targeted and supportive models. So she's put together a brief overview of that research, which will also be included in our panel in October. So please give it a look and we hope that you can join us and be a part of the discussion of these topics and more on October 8th, 2.30 to 3.45. Thank you.